There's our two cents, one from me, one from Rachel, and here's Abraham Lincoln. If you look real close on the penny right there in the middle, he's sitting there in the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, that has nothing to do with this. I'm going to try to address some of the things that you said in your comments and in your video there. Um, in the part of the conversation, uh, you're both right about, uh, on the one hand, uh, we do live in a capitalist society that we have to deal with. On the other hand, the economy is collapsing, or has already collapsed, is in the process of collapsing. If, you know, we can't have the money for having uh, clean water and inspections of our food, we can't have the money to, to stop uh, polluting our environment, uh, I mean, that's, that's just, uh, it's already collapsed. It, 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 it's already collapsed and it's time to change. We just have to take it easy, take it calm. The, it has collapsed. Oh, look at the oil, for instance. Uh, if we keep burning oil, it's going to cause such global warming that it kills everybody. And here in the United States, there's nobody, I mean, none of the politicians, I mean, all the regular people across the, the, the country say, well, you know, if they just uh, give us clean fuel, we'd burn it. And as far as the, uh, the chemicals that are toxic that cause global warming, all they have to do is stop producing those. So, so it's, it's, it's really uh, our aim to gradually, slowly, in many decades, reduce for a tiny fraction, like 3%, the amount that we increase, how much we, we pollute. Uh, that's, that's just insane. That's suicidal. Uh, we, we, we don't have to, like, by 2050, reduce our oil consumption a little bit. Now, we've got to stop immediately, immediately. It, it's stupid to keep on going. You know, so, and it's, it's not right to just avoid admitting that it's already collapsed. And avoid admitting that we have to get off the oil standard, but we do. There are consequences. There are wars all over the place because of oil being burned. In the United States, for instance, the biggest consumer gets off of it. The price drops out and, and everyone has less incentive to produce it. Um, in Iran, for instance, they don't even have oil refineries. They'll never develop nuclear bombs if the United States just stops buying oil. I mean, it's as simple as that. And there, there's, of course, alternative. Everybody uh, knows something about the clean fuels now, and we'll go into that in more detail, I'm sure, some other time. But uh, you're talking about drugs. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we've got uh, over a million political prisoners now for marijuana and probably a million for other drugs. Political prisoners in the United States prides itself on, on being the bastion of freedom. Two million political prisoners. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's disappointing. That's what it is. Uh, then here's uh, the medical uh, establishment. Here in the United States, of course, we pay more than anybody else for, for our medicine, but we get less. And why? Because all the money is given to middlemen that are adding nothing to it, the drug companies and the insurance companies. If you cut them out of it, we could afford to have the best health care in the world instead of the worst. Um, now, uh, how do we do these things? Well, I, our president says that we're going to completely repair New Orleans, go to the moon, and go to Mars. And how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to print money. We're going to print barrels full of money. We're going to print uh, wheelbarrows full of money so that people can have enough money to go buy this week's food at the supermarket. What we need is an economic conversion. We've got to stop running things the way we're running it now. We cannot just base things solely on the profit motive. We can't consider corporations a person. Uh, it's time to switch things around. You know, the, the Federal Reserve System that we're running our economy on was built to be redesigned every 10 years, and instead it's been almost 100 years. They've never gone through the redrawing of the rules, but it's time to redraw the rules because, uh, you know, what they're doing right now, banks are, are having uh, 2 million people thrown out of their houses. Uh, you know, they should be trying to get 2 million more people into houses instead of throwing 2 million out of them. That's, <laughs> that, that shows an economy that has collapsed. But just by converting it, it'll be, as you see, right side up again. Um, well, that's about enough for now. Nice to see you. And uh, that's two cents from us. And... Signing off.